Welcome back to Peer Guided DBT Lessons, provided by DBT Skills Application, Peers Helping Peers. This week's lesson, Mark 2-3, in our Distress Tolerance module, will be looking at the stop skills. We'd like to once again remind everyone that we're simply peers helping peers, working together to bring about a more peaceful, content, and ultimately happier life. The components that make up the Distress Tolerance acronym for STOP skills are S for STOP, T for Take a Step Back, O for Observe, and P for Proceed Mindfully. Remember, before you reach the point that your distress overwhelms you, STOP! Stop. Say it to yourself, in your head, as soon as you notice that your mind and or your body is reacting to a trigger. Sometimes it helps to visualize a big red stop sign, something that will make you pause. Stop. Helps to put in the space between the stimulus the trigger, whatever we are reacting to, and our response. Your emotions will try to make you act, or continue to act without thinking, so do not react while you're using the stop skills. Stop. Literally stop. Freeze. Pause. Take a step back. Take a mental step back from the situation. Sometimes it helps to take a literal step back because physical cues can inform emotional cues. Take a break from the situation for a moment. Pause your feelings for this moment. Basically you don't want to find yourself acting impulsively while you try to use this skill, so detaching yourself from the situation momentarily can give you perspective or just breathing room. Observe. Essentially, you want to look at the situation as if you've pressed the pause button. Pausing the situation, including the emotions you feel and the urges they can be causing, often helps de-escalate the intensity of your emotions. Next, we want to proceed mindfully. This also means proceed effectively. Proceeding effectively means doing what the situation requires to achieve your goals, both short-term and long-term goals. Act with awareness. In deciding what to do, consider your thoughts and feelings, the situation, and other people's thoughts and feelings. Ask yourself which actions will make things better or worse. Consider the consequences. Next week in our Peer Guided DBT lessons, we will be looking at distress tolerance and a variation of the stop skills.